6.2 mixtures. Mixtures is the combination of two or more elements or compound mixed physically. So these are the example of mixture. Mixture of uh, ice, uh, peanut, and ice cream, and many more. And this one is the mixture of water and fruits. Mixture is formed physically, so it can be separated physically too. So as an example, this burger can be separated physically. You can see all the uh, components that we have in a burger. Methods to separate mixtures, it depends on the physical properties of the substance pres uh, present in the mixture. And the substance to be obtained from the mixture means that the method is depend on the what is actually the substance inside the mixture and also uh, depend on what what you want from the mixture okay first uh, let's see the types of separation method sieving filtration distillation using magnet sedimentation flotation and chromatography okay number one the filtration the uh, to separate an insoluble solid from mixture of solid and liquid Insoluble means something that it, which is not uh, cannot dissolve. Okay, so the solid which cannot dissolve in the mixture, we can separate it by using a filtration method. So here, example, they use the filter paper to separate this mixture. So what will be left inside the filter paper is the uh, solid. Okay, solid which is insoluble, and the liquid will be. Uh, collected in the beaker we call it as filtrate okay next number two is distillation distillation is the, to separate a completely miscible liquid liquid mis mixture that have different boiling point means that the mixture has a few liquid a few types of liquids okay that mix together okay maybe they have the same color uh, so that you cannot see or different shape what kind of mixture is inside the uh, what kind of liquid inside the mixture so that one we call it as miscible liquid liquid mixture okay but you can separate it by using uh, its difference boiling point okay so the distillation method is like this okay we heat the mixture of the liquids okay and then the liquid will will boil. Okay, different liquid uh, have uh, have different boiling point. So, as an example, if if the the mixture is the mixture of uh, water and alcohol, okay, alcohol and water, alcohol will boil first because the boiling point of alcohol is about seventy eight degrees Celsius. So it will boil first and will change to alcohol vapor. Okay, and then it will pass through okay this condenser. And then the cold water here will cool down the vapor and will change the vapor to become uh, water. Uh, uh, I mean the liquid. Okay, vapor will become liquid. Means that here we have a condensation process. Okay, the cold water will cool down the alcohol vapor okay and then it will change to become liquid means we will have the alcohol inside the uh, flask and then once you have done uh, but we must make sure that actually you should have a um, temp thermometer here to take the temperature to make sure that the temperature is maintained as at 78 degrees Celsius okay let's say after a while after no more uh, alcohol is collected here then you can stop okay so here what you left here inside the flask here is water only because water pure water will um, boil at 100 degree Celsius so here you will get water and here you will get alcohol okay next is separation using magnet 
to separate two solid mixtures in which one of the substance is magnetic and uh, uh, the other is not so two solid mixtures one magnetic and the other is not example here is the sulfur powder and the, the iron uh, iron powder so iron can attract to the magnet so all the iron will be attracted to the magnet so that you can separate the the two things here the sulfur and iron Okay, magnetic metals these are the example of magnetic metals non-magnetic metals okay these are the examples okay most food industries use a magnet separator to ensure that iron particles are not mixed with the food product okay and then iron nails are attracted to the magnet this is an example of magnetic crane okay uh, if you know that the container like this they are made up of metals okay iron and to lift up this container you need a lot of energy a lot of power so they use the magnetic crane okay to lift up the container okay from the ship to the uh, port and from the port to the ship okay sedimentation the to separate a liquid and insoluble solid mixture Okay, almost same as the filtration. Okay, the sedimentation, you just mix the water and sand like this, stir, mix them well, and then let them be like this for a while, maybe uh, four to five uh, hours. Okay, and then the uh, the sediment will will be at the bottom of the the beaker. Okay, at the bottom we have the sand, and then on the top we have the water so then just do like this pour the water then you can get the water okay five is the flotation flotation is to separate soluble and insoluble materials in water soluble insoluble okay example um, oil and waters okay soluble and insoluble so we use this flotation method like this okay the upper layer lower layer and open the key here and then you will get you can separate yeah? separate them together let's say if we have oil here water down here at the bottom so when you open this the water will flow and drop into the flask okay what will be left inside is the oil chromatography to separate small amount of mixture okay so that the harmful substance in food coloring can be detected by chromatography method so this is a chromatography method sometimes there is a lot of color used in the food okay like this so we can detect lah, what kind of color that they use okay saving to separate different size of solid impurities can be removed from flour by saving method okay that's all for today thank you